In our previous class, we had seen how to make use of the bind text component and print this hello world message on the web page. When we previewed our web page in the browser, that is with the help of this button, when we clicked on this, it opened this separate window or the tab on our browser and it displayed this message that is hello world. So when we create any page, it is by default creating this template. We had seen in the earlier classes that these header, footer, these things are coming from the shell page. If you want header and footer to be repeating in every page, then we have to create this header footer information in the shell page. Suppose if you drop any text component over here in the shell page, it will be present in all the pages, whatever you create in the visual builder. If you want to show common thing in all the pages, then you have to modify those things in the shell page directly. So whatever you have in the shell page, it will be carry forwarded into all the pages like this. Now, the second thing is we have hard coded the message over here like hello world. Suppose in the programming language, first is we will declare a variable and then we will assign a value to it. Then we will make use of that variable and we will assign to these components. We will go to the variable tab and we will create one variable. Now I will name this as hello message. So this is the name of my variable. So ID whatever you see is the name of the variable. We can create a constant or we can create a variable. Let me just click on this create button. So when we click on this create, there is an option to provide a default value. What we can do is we can click on the FX here. We can provide the message that is hello world. Let me give explanation mark. Click on save. Now this hello world or the hello message variable is a variable of type string and it is having this default value that is hello world. Now what we will do is we will go to the page designer and we will assign instead of directly writing the message over here, we will assign the variable which we have created earlier. So what and all variable you have created at the page level will be visible under the page section and under the variable. Just double click on this, it will add the variable over here. We have to double click or you can even drag and drop it over here. Anything you can do. Click on save. Now instead of directly writing the message, we are referring to the variable and the variable is displaying the message called hello world. This message is being assigned over here that is under the default value. That is default value is hello world and the same is displayed over here. So it is adding the quote as well. So let's remove the quote. Just we want the hello world. That's it. Now let me preview this application. So the message that is hello world is displayed over here. What we have done is we are referring to the variable and we have assigned the value to the variable and the same is displayed over here in the text component. So this will be helpful in your application if you are getting the data from some endpoint or you are assigning at runtime some value and then you want to show in some component in the page then these things will be helpful.